In this session, I will demonstrate how the master slave D flip flop works. First, we click on the board to energize the circuit. Now that we have en energized the circuit, let's talk about the circuit's design and operation. The clock input controls access both to the master D latch and to the slave D latch. When the clock input is off, the door to the master D latch is opened, while the door to the slave D latch is closed. Since the door to the master D latch is opened, the input D now controls the master D latch. But the slave D latch is not affected. When the clock input is on, the door to the master D latch is closed, while the door to the slave D latch is opened. Since the door between the master D latch and the slave D latch is open, the output signal of the master D latch is now able to flow through the slave D latch and be reflected in the output of the slave. In addition, any signal from the input D is blocked from getting to the master latch. No matter how often the input D changes, the master D latch will not be affected. It is very important to observe that as long as the clock switch is on, the D switch has no effect on the circuit, and the integrity of the data inside the circuit is protected. From a truth tables perspective, here is what is going on. A change in the D input signal will only be reflected in the Q output signal after the clock switch has cycled. For more information on the operation and function of this circuit, visit TLab.com. Thank you for watching this session of TLab's tutorial.